Hello everyone. First of all, thank you for taking out your valuable time and sparing it here with us. At Together Men's, we have been at the crossroads of exploring new typologies that are apt for Indian vertical living. As part of FHD group of companies who at our core are architects and design thinkers, uh, we believe that it is important to pause and relook at how we manifest projects that are inclusive, have a strong social impact, and are environmentally conscious. With Organo Nandi, our first net zero farm community, our attempt was to create a horizontal urban lifestyle outside the city. Organo Nandi won the World Green Building Council Award for advancing sustainable thinking and more recently the Architecture Master Prize in Bilbao, Spain. With Together Men's, we are trying to reimagine the vertical city life by bringing back the social aspects of living that we have lost. Our first project in Miyapur, Hyderabad has already set the stage for this new prototype. It has recently been awarded as the best eco-friendly project in Hyderabad. So why are we looking for a new prototype? As designers, we started questioning ourselves on the social relevance of vertical living to the actual end user. How their way of life would be influenced by the design we create. As an urban society, we seem to be constantly pushing for higher density of living, but with lesser possibilities of actual life. More people living together, but with lesser interaction. So, is our current way of building vertical living actually creating a good social environment? If we are to look at it a bit more closely, we have become global citizens but remain private at home. We reach home and shut our apartment doors. Couples have started working and earning together with very busy schedules, but are our homes adapting to that pace? We have managed to add better living conveniences, but with significant impact on family time and togetherness. While people are changing, our homes are not, like software updates without hardware change. We end up having to fit our life to the home we buy and not the other way around. Today, environmental responsibility and going green have become a subject of luxury instead of a norm. Can it be instead deeply integrated into everything we do? But this is not how it was always. If we were to turn back the clock and think about how we have lived, we see a very different picture of Indian lifestyle. Communities were not about putting a gate to isolate their identity. We always belonged to a community, a casually caring community, where interactions between elders, youngsters, children, neighbors, friends, they all happened naturally and regularly. Streets were more of an extension of outdoor living rather than an unsafe demarcation they have become today. Houses never felt small. Neighborhoods were active civic spaces, adapting fluidly to the needs and moods of the residents, rejoicing with them, sometimes mourning with them, sometimes celebrating with them. It was a very different environment. Lives within communities were genuinely open and interconnected. People cared about each other and offered support without even being asked. There are so many anecdotes that we can easily relate to. An uncle taking the liberty to chastise us at the right time, which we can today reminisce and laugh about or be grateful about. Uh, running to the neighbors without hesitation for loaning ingredients for cooking. Getting handed down notes and books from seniors to help in our exams. Uh, hearing our favorite tales from Dadima with our colony friends. These are all things that happened naturally and casually, without any programming or scheduling or play dates. Growing up itself was a collective experience with everyone around us contributing to it. Very fulfilling and very natural. Now, if we come back to today's time, there's been a significant shift towards reclusive lifestyle despite high density living environments. There are more people living next to each other, but less time spent interacting. Streets that used to be the nerve center of activity have been replaced by monotonous experiences. There is no difference between the arrival experience of a person on the third floor and the tenth floor except an elevator button. Social spaces are programmed and isolated into clubhouses, which bear no relation to everyday life, eventually maintaining something for the sake of an occasional use. Serendipitous greetings and wishes have been replaced by awkward smiles inside elevators. Relation to the ground and greenery is lost to parking stills 
and poorly lit elevator lobbies. Also, when we come to the actual living unit, the design parameters have stayed static for several decades. The technological era has changed other conveniences. If you look at the intuitive mobile phones today, it empowers users exponentially. There are electronic gadgets that understand the user needs and adapts it to contextual functionality. But the apartments we buy doesn't respond to the user's needs as much. It is like our hardware of apartment typology is struggling to keep pace with the upgraded software of life. So, so here is where our dream starts. The project, you can get what in if touch with there is a team. new typology called togetherments instead of apartments for Indians who generally are known to live culturally together? The typology which brings our lost social fabric back into vertical urban living. For details regarding a this typology project, that makes homes subjective and, and empathetic you to can get who they are meant for team. and not Thank just you. compromised adjustments. Spaces that do multitasking for the new generations who are themselves multitaskers. Habitats where time is earned, not literally, but by increasing face time between people within your home and outside. What if we could take the street, an amalgam of activities, greenery and social interaction, and flip it vertically? Imagine various places for community engagement like yoga or chit-chatting or playing gully cricket the way we used to before. Earlier we used to do it horizontally in the streets, now we could experience it all vertically. Spaces that bring back and promote intergenerational relationship, allowing knowledge sharing to happen naturally. When walking out from the elevator on the sixth floor or co-working in dedicated spaces on the third floor, no matter where you go, you pass through this vertical street that engages you with social activities. You can witness them through your entire journey of the building. A sort of a tribute and a celebration of Indian collective living, but adapted to our urban lifestyle. Unlike a typical apartment building, together means at every level is consciously designed to integrate various day-to-day -day activities of the residents. Activities that are kept in plain sight along our vertical street to encourage interaction instead of being closed inside a clubhouse. A lot of thinking has gone into intermingling programs that are symbiotic, yet create moments that instill curiosity. From the podium going up into the towers and back, we want residents to experience the richness of life and not just a bunch of facilities. The tower and open spaces are positioned in a way that physical and visual continuation of activities is integrated seamlessly. Spaces are fluid from horizontal to vertical, yet experiences feel unique every time we pass through them. These three-dimensional streets become expressed as architectural volumes giving an immediate identity to the project. To create this strong link between all floors, the design exploits the two inner corners of the tower to become community spaces coupled with elevator lobbies. This forces people to move through them both horizontally and vertically. The two vertical streets are further designed to have different character and program in each of them. One being more active, playful, high on interaction, while the other is more intimate, quiet, and introspective. The experiences are also enhanced through materials, colors, and the level of visibility between floors. The character of these streets change as part of your everyday experience. Imagine you visit an art show happening on the fifth floor where your kids are exploring their hobbies, and you come back to the same place in the night to watch an IPL match with your friends in an open-air theater, or enjoy a special dance performance to celebrate a festival. It changes the character of the space and our interaction pattern with it. The spaces hence become more alive and convivial. Now imagine you stop for a cup of coffee while you are on your way to work and catch up with your neighbors playing snooker. You, know, you might even think about trying out squash one of these days. The simple fact that you can see through multiple levels of these activities increases the chances of serendipitous interactions between residents. Next time, you'll probably not smile and look away when you're in the elevator with them, but instead find common points of interest to discuss. Together men's is not just about living together, but working together this as well. This is your first bedroom. Today, in times of with global task pandemics washroom. like COVID, our homes have become as much a space for working as they are for living. The demand is not only for the adults, but also for children with online classrooms becoming an integral part of education. So just a study room in a house 
cannot anymore cater to everybody's this is your kitchen area yeah? we need to think of a solution at a larger scale Along with as this way of life is open here utility to stay space for a while. we are reimagining the way bedroom. work from home can happen at the community level carefully designed workspaces are integrated along the vertical streets making them easily accessible exciting to go to and convenient to work from room. they are designed along at with multiple levels washroom. with multiple types of spatial configurations to suit your style of work and your need for privacy the co-work zones are not introverted offices but designed to spill into each other three dimensionally with outdoor and indoor spaces that are well lit and well ventilated casual seating areas Here also you combined get with a spacious desks balcony and a deck area rooms means there is always a place the to get you started on work or studies collective workspaces also makes working from home feel less isolating and helps in a more energetic work culture similar to an office in the evenings the meeting rooms can even turn into tuition areas for children left side one is so all this common now, washroom imagine having the ability to choose your work environment every day at together means they range from independent you work pods for immersive work and calls for your sergeant so work desks for productive work to wifi enabled outdoor decks and lounges for casual work these real spaces can be this chosen for your so mood instead of just changing your zoom chat back with a task washroom if you are one who prefers and the best part is biophilic green and there is no internal connectivity the seventh floor open office would from be your sergeant so the vertical to your garden house. backdrop with filtered natural light and oxygen rich air help to rejuvenate while you are busy if you need privacy individual cubicles can be booked for longer periods literally extending your study into the community all within a few steps away from your home that's not all at the top the solar shaded roof offers a very different work lounge experience among square foot gardens to take advantage of the pleasant bangalore weather and the scenic views to the city a wonderful way to watch the sunset while completing your work for the day we believe that the real utility value of these work zones will significantly promote work from home and contribute to the work life balance of the residents our goal is to make it an enjoyable and collectively unique work experience for an it focused city like bangalore you not only save on commute and reduce fossil fuel consumption but save the time to spend with your family for young working parents the crash on the ground level connected to outdoor toddler play court mean that they dedicated community staff and adults can safely engage the children while you're at your work there is a natural interdependency that starts to connect people together after work if you need to get some workout the gym on the top two levels with a small skylit green court is a great option this constant link between indoor and outdoor makes sure that at every level residents feel a connection to the ground and the landscape it encourages people to rest and hang around even after using these facilities even after playing badminton on the 8th floor you can step out into a sunlit vertical garden to breathe some fresh air or stay active until you wait for the next game at the very top the entire terrace is a well shaded leisure deck and an oxygen bank with a lot of greenery the rooftop pool gives much needed privacy for the users and panoramic views into the city's horizon the green rooftop square foot garden can be adopted by the community as an extension to their kitchen gardens the productive landscape is also extended in the ground level with a patch of organic urban farm the juice bar on the podium directly uses these farm fresh produce to serve refreshing drinks you can drop into rustically designed cabanas after a massage in the spa or a game of basketball and enjoy this freshness with your friends and family with all these aspects of social inclusiveness together men's is not just a place to live but one where you thrive together at the level of the residences in together men's we are stretching ourselves to make our homes very specific to our end user and address the end user's needs and requirements instead of making our product generic we have chosen to cater to the lifestyles of two personas completely two different set of families who have different ways of living first working couple with kids second young working couple which can also be adapted for active seniors with visiting family obviously both have further micro level variations within them as well that our design caters to 
through a lot of case studies, house visits, and resident interactions, we have identified the concerns for these two personas in apartment living and created a home solution that understands their needs. The most important criteria while creating this community was to create a singular product type of smart three bedroom units across the entire project. This naturally creates a social similarity between residents while allowing adaptive variations within the unit to suit every family's lifestyle needs. Variations that start all the way from your doorstep. For instance, our entrances are not generic. They are designed to reflect personalities like how you would experience a street, right from the entrance lights, the finish, the, and styling of the door, to shoe racks, sports equipment storage, and provisions for cultural decorations. It adds a personalized touch to every home. The foyer entry into every unit has designated areas to leave your keys, shoes, and bags. Larger long-term storage for things like suitcases can be accommodated into a multi-use box room. So right from the moment you enter, the homes are designed to reduce clutter. We understand how Bangalore weather is conducive for outdoor living and greenery. A larger 7 feet by 11 feet balcony acts as an extended living space and even has a dedicated area to grow larger plants. Kids could do their artwork here. You could lounge or swing or grow a tulsi plant. So it doesn't end up as a space for drying clothes. With our busy schedules, we are constantly multitasking. So shouldn't our spaces be? We have always taken a space to do just one thing, but that's not how we use them. Transformative furniture can today help adapt spaces and repurpose rooms in a moment. The use of not just floor, but the wall as part of furniture system allows us to create transformative spaces. During daytime, the kids' room acts as a compact playroom or study for children studying from home. And at night, the bunk beds open up from the wall, transforming it into a cozy bedroom. So apart from the wardrobe, there is a separate provision for children to hang their most commonly used school accessories instead of screwing them into a corner. These small design gestures ensure high utility of space while also making children enjoy customizing their portion of the home. Also, we have realized through our study that majority of three bedroom homes don't have a clear use for one of the bedrooms. So the third bedroom is designed as a smart room that behaves as a guest bedroom or a bar or maybe a home office. Again, the concept of using the wall to transform furniture, we can pull out the bed only when needed for the guest. It can be enclosed with an operable partition and used as a quiet study and convert to guest room only when needed. Or it can fully open up to create a connected living space. The walls are designed to allow for this transformation while interior planning of the unit by the homeowners. In all unit types, the living spaces themselves are kept open and visually connected all the way from the kitchen to the balcony. This increases interaction with the family and ensures more time is spent together. The smart third bedroom can open up into a bar and library if you like to host people at home more often, completely transforming the living space. The open kitchen arrangement means just moving a table below the kitchen counter could allow your kids to do their homework while you are cooking. Now, moving from the front to the back end of our homes, do you know the number of things that happen in your utility? We have thought through and added a space for each of those activities, whether it's a dryer for your clothes or a storage box for your freshly washed clothes or a broom corner to hang all your house cleaning equipments. So even the house maintenance staff have lesser clutter to deal with. All this for what? Today, spending quality time has become quite crucial. We don't want our homes to come in the way when we are trying to save time. We want to make sure your home as a whole fits to your needs and gives back time to spend on being together. And all this while we are being responsible and sensitive to nature and environment. All of Together Men's common areas will be powered by rooftop solar panels, which not only generate energy, 
but also act as a roof shading device to reduce heat gain during summers. Individual homes with large openings in all living spaces have been designed to allow a high level of air movement within the unit. Careful orientation and solar shading ledges incorporated into the architecture ensure that the large windows are still well shaded. Water, being a very precious resource, is treated at Together Men's with utmost care. A large tank of 10 lakh liters will be dedicated to store and replenish rainwater during the monsoons. This, in combination with treated water reuse methods, will provide a much higher level of water security to all residents. At Together Men's, the conveniences offered are designed to be more than just another facility. For instance, trolley parking in the basements, crash with chaperone to take care of school children in case parents return late, independent art rooms and tuition rooms for learning, six guest suites to host your family. These are all thought from the standpoint of real user needs and not as an amenity. Small things that maximize social interaction have been integrated into the design. For instance, just making the elevator doors in glass increases face time and makes arrival at every floor a pleasurable and unpredictable experience. Our goal is to create communities that collectively help us stay healthier, physically, socially and mentally. That is when we maximize the potentials of living together. Not just living together, but rediscover the joy of thriving together. If you would like to join us in the journey and lead the change we are trying to create, we would be more than happy to understand you and your needs. Our team is eager to hear from you and take you much more intricately through the thought behind the many elements that we have highlighted. Thank you very much for your time and patience in supporting our endeavor. Thank you.